Hey everyone, Ken Carey here. Here's something interesting about me. I don't really like amusement parks. In fact, here's a photo of me on the flume at Knobles recently. Terrified, did not have too much fun. I do like dark sky parks, and we're here at Pennsylvania's dark sky park, Cherry Springs State Park. That's a lot of parks. We're going to have a lot of fun in the final chapter of Summer in Space. Cue the music. This is the sky on a dark, clear night in Cunningham, Pennsylvania. Nice, right? This is the sky on a dark, clear night at Cherry Springs State Park in Countersport, Pennsylvania. Holy crap, right? The universe is big and it's easy to get lost in space with so many stars in Cherry Springs' dark sky. But don't panic. On most Friday and Saturday nights from Memorial Day through September, there's a guide to help you through the beautiful Milky Way. Environmental education specialist Marissa Galati is one of the guides. She grew up in Cowdersport. I loved growing up in the rural environment, getting to see the wildlife all the time, getting to see all the stars, but I definitely did take it for granted. <laughs> I never even realized until I started working here how many people never get to see that. And it leaves quite the impression on you when people come for the first time and cry or like squeal for delight when I never had that effect growing up, but I appreciate it much more now that I realize how many people don't ever get to see that. Spending a night in the Cherry Springs public viewing field could be a life-changing experience. For example, Galati never even had an astronomy class before she took the job at Cherry Springs. She got a one-year crash course on the night sky and then got this. Yes, so uh, me and a couple girls that work together, we absolutely love our jobs here. We love promoting the dark skies, and so we all went and we got constellation tattoos together. I have Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. One of the girls got the dog constellation, and the other girl got Cetus the whale. So we, ha we have a fun with our jobs, we love our jobs, and we wanted to remember that. Now we ask everyone to get comfortable, turn down the lights, and enjoy your time at Pennsylvania's Dark Sky Park. Cherry Springs boasts one of the darkest skies on the East Coast. When the sun goes down, the show starts. I like saying that everything you see pretty much when you're here is in the Milky Way, unless you happen to be looking at another galaxy. So sometimes people don't realize that everything in their night sky is in the Milky Way because they think that only that strip of light we're seeing is the Milky Way. So everything we see here at Cherry Springs is in the Milky Way, unless you're looking at another galaxy. So when we're looking at the strip, what are we looking at? You're looking at a concentrated part of our galaxy, so a kind of a concentrated section. The best time to catch a glimpse of a milky arm of our galaxy is during the summer months. While it's mesmerizing to stare into the center of our galaxy, your attention will be taken away every now and then by a bright meteor burning up across the sky. It was last year we saw a bolide, which is like a, a very intense shooting star. So there are things called fireballs, which are even more intense, but it came all the way across the sky and you could hear it. So it was a, a really big shooting star and it fizzed and then it kind of exploded. So we were able to see that entire thing. The closest grocery store to Cherry Springs State Park is about 20 minutes away. If you think that's far, how about this? The Milky Way's closest neighbor is the Andromeda Galaxy, and that's over 2 million light years away. I hope Andromeda never has to borrow an egg. August is a great time to view our galactic neighbor at Cherry Springs, and you don't even need a telescope or binoculars. You can see it with your naked eye. It looks like a fuzzy little smudge, but it's there. So you're looking out of our galaxy when you see that, which is, it's also mind-blowing. To see other galaxies beside Andromeda, you'll need a telescope, and Cherry Springs has some of those. You just need to register online for their weekly summer programs to make sure you get a chance to take a look in one of them. I think just the fact that we can see things that are so, so far away. So for instance, the Whirlpool Galaxy is like 25 million light years away. How can we ever see that? But even with our park telescopes, which are nice but not super fancy, you can see that. If you're more of a fan of a day at the beach than a night in a field, how about this compromise? My favorite constellation, hmm, that's a tough one. I like, the, I like Ursa Major and Ursa Minor because they're easily recognizable and I grew up finding them in the sky. But I am also a fan of a little lesser known constellation, Delphinus the Dolphin. It's really small, it's in what they call the sea part of the sky, so all the water constellations kind of clump together. Um, so that's a neat one to point out, especially to kids. That's pretty neat, I didn't know that. Is the sky broken up in other parts as well? No, 
not no, too the much. The sea has yeah, their it own. It happens like, to be like Delphinus the dolphin is over there, Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Cetus the whale. They're all kind of together, which, which is kind of neat. Then there's the planets. This summer, Mars was at its brightest in years. While the red planet was stunning to the naked eye, it's hard to compete with this fan favorite when you're looking through a telescope. One of the best things is if people have never looked at the planets through the telescopes, when they see Saturn, you can see the rings. So everyone's like, oh my god, I can see the rings. And then they're like, is that real? Like they think I put a sticker on the end of the telescope or something, but it's neat that they get that excited. If you're planning a trip to Cherry Springs State Park, here's some friendly advice. Dress warm and or bring warm clothes even in the summer months and bring some chairs. Now here's some formal rules spoken in a very friendly voice from Galati. So we ask that you cover up any white lights that you have with red cellophane and rubber bands. Um, we do try to provide that, especially even if you're going to use your cell phones or really bright flashlights. Um, you can come out here at any point, so we don't you know, say that it opens at a certain time or that it closes at a certain time. You just can't camp out here. So if you're out here all night stargazing, then you're, you're definitely allowed to do that. Bright lights are the enemy of dark skies. Getting designated as a dark sky park took more than red cellophane and rubber bands. So we are designated by the International Dark Sky Association as a gold level dark sky park. So you have to have a dark enough area, obviously that's important. You have to do things to keep that area dark, so we have very limited lighting here. We promote the red lighting and motion lighting, and we use a lot of glow-in-the-dark things. And you also have to do a certain amount of public outreach. So I can't go home and designate my, my backyard as a dark sky area, even though it's dark, because I don't do public outreach there. So it's all about educating the public to try to preserve our dark skies for the future. So locally, um, we've made some, some town ordinances. So when you build, you have to have dark sky friendly lighting, and there is such a thing. So we're, not all lighting is bad but it's better to be pointed down and be lower level if you don't need it so bright. So you can reach out within your community. There are organizations like the International Dark Sky Association. There's also a group called Sky Glow that are really big into promoting um, low level lighting and they talk a lot about light pollution. So there's different people you can hook up with or you can get together with your local community. I typed in Hazleton, Pennsylvania at darksightfinder.com and here's what came up. Red, orange, and yellow aren't good. That nice blue and dark blue to the left is where Cherry Springs State Park is located. There are 62 certified International Dark Sky Association Dark Sky Parks in the world. 43 of them are located in the United States and one is located in Pennsylvania. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Cherry Springs Dark Sky Park, but you really should see it for yourself. For SSP TV News, I'm Ken Kara.